don't share a friendship, but they do share mutual respect for one another's skills. This is a staple in Zach D. Sabatino. I call, him, I call him the Cal Ripken Jr. of Cage Titans. He has shown up to fight on every card that I have called. He was showed up on weight last event. His opponent, Albert Tully, had to pull out night of the fight due to some medical issues, was unable to fight, but Zach still showed up either way. Zach's he tasted defeat for the first time in his MMA career at Cage Titans 42 against Darius Estelle, and he's hungry to bounce back and get that momentum. Uh, uh, Zach is a class act. Obviously, I'm T Peter's teammate, and I, you know which side I'll be on. But class, he, uh, cl class, he does not describe Zach Sabatino. On top of the fact that he is a monster, he suffered his first setback of his career in his last uh, in his last outing. Uh, he's looking to come back. I know that he's hungry. He comes from a great school. Uh, I'm wearing the slippery shirt, kind of half uh, half bitter because the South Shore fans booed me. But other than that. You know, they're, they're a great school. They have a wonderful roster of fighters. They're very, very talented. Da Zach is, is no different uh, from any of them on there. He is a gamer. This man's coming to finish you. He's not coming to do points. So this is good. I don't see how this fight doesn't uh, does go to decision. Yeah, Zach brings pressure, always has throughout his amateur and professional career. Class act. It's all business with Zach D. Sabatino. He just wants to go in there, fight, put pressure on you, get the finish. Go have Here a good time. Go. The one and only Slippery Pete. Slippery Pete. Coming off a layoff of about a year. Pete. Suffered a loss to Connor Barry over at Cage Titans 39 at Pins. He's looking to bounce back at this lightweight division. Stay at the top of the list of contenders to get the call. He stands at 9-3. and three, Looking to improve to 10-3. and three. And both of these men acknowledge that they have a tough, tough test ahead of them. Yes, in this co-main event for Cage Titans 44. Yes, absolutely. Slippery Pete, like you said, long layoff. Had a couple bumps in his career, but he wants to get back on track. He was looking for a dance partner. He didn't have one. Zach was looking for a dance partner. You know, and it's not very often where you see two top local, local guys go at it. And you know what? Both of these guys stepped up. They both took the fight. And here we are. This is an incredible matchup for the fans. So we were talking about the last fight, the amateur title fight, how when it was made, we've been excited for it. This is another one of those matchups. I can see this fight going a million different ways. Talking with Peter Barrett, he says he's been timing the shot of Dak Di Sabatino, trying to time him with an uppercut. Di Sabatino's looking to implement the holes that he finds in Peter Barrett's grappling game. Anything can happen in this fight. Both guys are so well-rounded. They've showcased a tremendous amount of skill and heart in this cage. It's going to be a remarkable fight. I, I, I've been training with Slippery Pete very, very closely in this camp. I've been trying to take him down. I throw everything in the kitchen sink at this dude, and he's got an answer for everything. He's incredibly strong, very well-rounded. His jits game is underrated. He does. He's a captain, or not a captain, but the coach of a wrestling team himself. He's very well-versed in wrestling. His striking is Delagrati Karate, baby. We all know the Muay Thai around here, so he's very well-rounded. A lot of ways that Peter can win. Zach's got bang-bang in his hands, and he's deadly on the ground. This is going to be a war. Our corner main event is almost set as Shy gets us ready for round one. Don't blink. This is a matchup for all fight fans. Take it away, Harry Jones. Best in the business, Harry Jones. <coughs> Our next bout. 155-pound <laughs> professional lightweight matchup set for three rounds. Five minutes apiece. The introducing first in the red corner. He has a professional record of five and one. He's representing South Shore Sport Fighting. Give it up for Zach the Ripper the Sabatino. His opponent in the blue corner with a professional record of nine and three. He's fighting out of sit your tongue. Let's hear it for Slippery Pete, Peter Barrett. 
Tom Sconzo, our referee for this lightweight matchup. Zach DiSabatino in the white trunks, Peter Barrett in the black trunks. I've had the pleasure of calling a good chunk of Peter Barrett's professional career and all of Zach DiSabatino's professional career. These are two of my favorite fighters to call fights for. They're action-packed. They touch is. them up, and here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Two south paws. This is going to be a good one. Very odd. Not very often you see a lot. Oh, left hand over the top. Not very often you hear south paws or see south paws face each other very often. So it's not a look that they see. It takes, the, takes them a little while to get their timing down because they're not used to seeing that opponent. Nice, nice jab from Peter Barrett. Nice overhand Oy. left. He's hitting him with that left. You know, I... Nice kicks. Good nice work. Nice kick. See, the thing about when you're a southpaw nice. and you fight another southpaw, that leg kick opens up. Peter Barrett's looking Look fast. That. Peter Barrett. Looking strong, too. Stiff, stiff jab so far. DSAB trying to fire. Nice, nice left, left hand. hand. Nice shot, nice he's shot from D-Sab. Nice elbow there for that was good. That was good. Nice takedown. Right up. There's the two from D Sabatino. Falls right into side control. The leg is hurting, the skull is hurting. Now he's trying to make Peter Bear pay. He's going for that dart. He went for that uh, anaconda almost, but... Oh, he's looking he's, to tighten it up. D-Sab's got death grip strength. He's so strong here. Peter Bear trying to flatten he's gotta out. He's got to be careful. He's, he's trying to fight the grip. Peter's all right. He's, he's fine. He doesn't have it locked up quite yeah, yet. It's not Seems like it's not over. completely cinched up against. He doesn't have that forearm against that yeah, artery. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, needs, yeah. he needs to put pressure down on his chest before he can do anything. He's, he's trying to hook the leg, though, trying to cinch it up a little tighter slowly. There it is. Peter's there up. There he is. Nice. He's nice the job, Peter. Up. Attaboy. Good. That's that's experience. D-Sab looking for the back now. d has got to be careful squeezing like that. He, he was very composed. He didn't squeeze very hard, so he didn't lose those... those uh, Got to be careful of the placement. Can't hit the back of the head, but yep, those are clean. Hit that ear. Yep. Nice left there for DSAB. Right in the side control again. Right up, right up for Peter. Peter's still working. He's again, going for that he's dart. For that choke. Peter yeah, Barrett. He's on top nice of oh, elbows Big to elbows the to the stomach. And he's oh, elbowing elbows the to face. The head. Those are going to be 12 to 6. Those might have been. And boom, there's the knee. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's out. He's out. Oh, he's on he's out. oh. He he's been fighting. dropped twice. He's still fighting. Peter Barrett in on the track. He's looking to be the first man to finish Di okay. Sabatino. Beautiful knee starting still this. Have his legs under him. He's got the right got side of the team. team. This might be a This is tight. Di Sab trying tight. to pop his head That's out. That's tight. That's tight. Di Sab's getting a little bit of space there and he's passing the right side. Nicely done. How does good. he keep Unreal. that composure after being Jesus. dropped like that? I don't think he's okay still. Peter needs no. to let go of that. Watch that out was for the Von Flu choke. Uh, D Sob is great with he's that. He's got shoulder. the one flu. He's got it since then. He's got to move. Pete has to let go of that. That arm is trapped. He can't. It's trapped. There it is. He's, he's, there he there we go. He got out. But that was a deep attempt. I said that Von flu was there. That was a deep attempt. Yep. And again, Zach keeps going for, for that, that choke. Bars. Beautiful elbow in the transition. D Sab still hurt. Peter Barrett. He's oh, going after he's him. He's out. Sa oh, hey. And he went down, but as the, as the kick yep, was that coming was up, that's clean. a totally legal kick. Clean. And Zach is desperate Zach is for this takedown. Zach is on Squeer Street right now. He might be a little bit more recovered. I mean, we've seen Zach take some punishment that, before. It's just, it's just a, a, another, and another take, takedown, takedown from DSAB. You oh can never God. tell who's winning this fight the right heart. now because the takedowns and the, him getting the robbed are, are, are ridiculous right now. The heart of this kid. Oh. Beautiful elbows from the bottom, just framing up with that left hand. Zach is still not, uh, still no, not clear. No, he's not 100%. He's still not all right. Look at that. Pete not afraid to give up his What a fight! To get up. He's got to shake him off here. Trying Zach's to shut him out the back door. Zach Zach's is high. high. Zach's got to get his hips down. Yeah. Watch that arm. He's going to fall off if he's not careful. Watch that arm, Peter. Can't I'm not coach. yelling. I didn't yell. <laughs> I didn't yell. Now this is... This is oh a good... Man. This is a, 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 a... What did we say? What did we say? This fight right this, here. This fight. Another I, one. Oh, Falling into the guillotine off the back take. That's a slick move. He, it doesn't quite have it under he the chin. Peter yeah, recognizes it. it. But that was very slick. d -Sab breathing heavy. Pete's he out. Those cobwebs have cleared. Pete just oh, took. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 Again with the big knee. What is keeping him up? Oh, with the head kick. d Sabatino's the toughest. I can't believe d -Sab. Oh, oh, again. Oh. And a knee. Oh. The it's That's over. That's it's over. over. d -Sab is out. There's the knockout. Hold. Clean knees. Clean kicks. My Fire fight from God. Peter Barrett. That's game, baby! D. Sabatino game, baby. doesn't know where he is, which hope he's okay. He's getting checked to by the doctors. He seems like he's fine. A lot, a lot Unreal. of damage in that Unreal. The precision, the power, the tenacity that Peter Barrett brought to this fight. 
And the heart that I mean, the DC have shown from getting up from being dropped once, twice, scoring takedown, submission attempts. This fight was a one round absolute battle. We knew this fight was going to deliver. Both men had their moments, but it was the power and accuracy of Peter Barrett and the knockout tenacity that he brings. Unbelievable fight. I mean, unbelievable. And Pete just did such a good job of just staying on him when he had him hurt. He had him hurt multiple times, and he kept his composure and didn't empty the tank, but he always went for it. And he threw with so much, so much power every time. And he always classy Peter Bear checking on his opponent afterwards. They both acknowledged it was a great fight. Great fight. Amazing Speak fight. Speak to your teammate, Jay. Amazing. Well done. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I, 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 I'm so blown. I'm sorry. I'm so emotional right now. Uh, <laughs> Great combinations from Peter Barrett. He did great. He stayed composed while uh, while Zach got those amazing takedowns. Really big slams. Uh, Zach was rocked and kept fighting. Hurt, the hurt. heart of a lion on Dak, Zach Di Sabatino. Uh, he got caught more than a few times. Peter kept coming in with that overhand left, clipping him over the top, and that would hurt him. And that those head kicks just just sealed the deal at that point. All the heart in the world for him. But uh, Peter earned this one in spectacular fashion. Uh, big props to, to Zach for a great performance And well. only one round, less than one round, we saw so many near finishes, near knockdowns, near knockouts, and it was ultimately the knockout power of Peter Barrett to get this win. Harry Jones has the official decision. This one's about to go into the books. Wow. You put two warriors like this in the ring together, you can't not make noise for them, ladies and gentlemen. On your feet, give it up for these two. Gang, baby. That's a great fight. Oh, oh, wow. Four minutes, 16 seconds into the first round. Referee Thomas Gonzo called this matchup, giving you your winner by knockout. Slippery Pete, Peter I think he just, I think, I think wow. uh, Peter just made a request man. of Mr. Pulver. I don't and, know uh, what he said. I don't know what's on his know, mind. Joe Lozon just told me that was a pretty late stoppage. And I tend yes, to it was. Him. Zach was really hurt there, and he took oh, a lot of, could've could've a lot of it big It could have been shots. stopped much earlier. And it's just, he's so tough, he's not going to go down. You've got to you, save a fighter from being too tough like for himself. Happens, you can't wait for him to go down. If we'll all like die that, in there. We'll die in there if we can keep going. Absolutely. Zach would rather die in there, but you have to save him. Absolutely. Yo. Hey, kill the music. Guys, I know there's like a lot of bad blood between me and South Shore, but like Zach's a legit fucking dude, and he came out here to fight me. No bullshit, there was no trash talk. We came out here to compete and to see who was better. That's what this sport's all about, all right? I talked about a little bit with it when I had the takeover, dude. Depression's fucking real. You guys see me come in here and fight like a stranger the last couple fights. It's no secret I lost my, da my dad and my brother. My dad's in this bag and so is my stepdad, all right? They come to me with the cage every time. And this fight I said, I'm gonna let my dad and my brother carry me to the cage. That's why you guys saw me out here smiling the whole fucking time. You don't know how good this feels. I'm fucking back, guys. Thank you, I love all of you. That's how you run a co-main event, Peter Barrett and Zach D. Sabatino. Both of you showcasing heart, skill. And both guys 
trying to make it out of horrible spots that each other put each other in. With the striking of Peter, the submission grappling of De Sabatino, both guys had to overcome adversity in that short but legendary fight. That's an early, that's well, that's a fight of the right. year candidate already. Right. Uh, Hard. Uh, and Hard. and Great. honestly, honestly, I, I hope Zach is okay. Yes. Arguably, like we said, that could have been stopped a little early. I hope he's all right. I hope he takes a little bit of time and heals and gets checked out and everything's okay. He's a warrior inside 100%. and out of the cage, and, and he he is a performer, and I, I can't wait to see him back in and there. And now it's time uh, get for better our main back. event of the evening. Coming off a huge win over fellow top prospect Connor Barry, Joe Giannetti looks to keep the winning trend going again.